Hi, my beautiful family, and welcome to another of my videos. Uh, today, I'm going to create a fall makeup look using this Naked Honey Urban Decay Honey Palette. Now, I got this a couple of days ago as a, as a gift from my sister, and uh, I was so excited to get this palette because I really wanted it. Uh, I don't have anything like this in my collection, and this is a beautiful, beautiful palette. I've been trying it this whole week, creating many makeup look, many makeup looks, and I can um, say that I tried all of the shades. Today I'm going to create uh, a very easy fall makeup look for the beginners, and um, with a cut crease, of course. So if you're interested to see the makeup look, and if you want to hear my thoughts in the end, what I think about this palette, then please keep on watching. So I zoomed you in a little bit and I already primed my eyes with Urban Decay eyeshadow primer and I also did set it with some powder. Now I don't mind my lip, this has been here for a week, it really hurts but it's almost gone, it's almost, it almost disappeared from my face because I had it. But uh, it's much better now, I had a cold so that is why it's here. I also have a new mirror, Jeffree Star mirror in this or or orange chrome uh, shade and I know the chrome gets dirty and the fingerprints are everywhere but I really really like this mirror. I wanted the rose gold and I said to myself as soon as the rose gold comes out I'm going to buy it. But, but, when I saw this shade online I was immediately, I'll take that, this is fall winter shade, rose gold can wait for the spring so I'm definitely going to use this a lot in my uh, videos and I really like the mirror. So, Let's start with the palette. I'm going to say the names. I'm not going to show them. And I'm going to use the brush that comes with the palette. Now, I prefer this brush than the others. I feel like this one is a little bit, uh, this one is different than the others that we got in this palette, kind of palette. But I really like this brush. So I'm going to clean it a little bit because I've been using it. And I'm going to go in the first shade Sweet in the crease. I like to have this sweet shade as my base. Uh, I have something, some cream left here that's not going to disappear. I don't know what they, that is, but I'm going to fix it. So like I said, I like to have this as a base in my crease. And I'm not going to talk a lot in this video but I'm going to tell you my thoughts in the end. And you probably can hear my son playing. He likes to be close to me when I do my makeup and we are alone today. So he doesn't like to be alone. He likes to have some company. Okay, then I'll go into warm, swarm, next to the sweet shade. bring it a little bit higher than my crease because I do have hooded eyes. See, especially this one is very hooded. Bring it here too. Then I want to go to Keeper, also a match that we're going to put in the crease. I like to create a new crease because of my hooded eyes. So. And I'm using the same brush that we got in this palette. So I want to show you that this is not hard to create and you don't have, need any other brush um, than, except this one that you already are getting in this palette. Same brush, go into Grip, still a matte shade, and applying that to a crease, but now a little bit deeper in the crease. And we are going to just have it in the crease. We are not trying to bring it higher. We are dipping up the crease. Back and forward, back and forward. To blend. And slightly go just a little bit above to blend. Can you see how beautiful that looks? Take it on the other eye. 
Now taking the other side of the brush and we're going to sting that is the darkest shade in the palette. We're going to tap it and not blend it, just tap it first. And slightly blend. Without adding any more eyeshadow, we're blend it, blending it in the crease. Now we are going to cut the crease and I'm going to use the P. Louise base. Uh, you can use whatever you want. I have this in front of me. I don't use this as a base for my eyeshadow because it doesn't keep my eyeshadow in place the whole day so that is why I don't use it but I'm going to use it today to cut my crease because that works better and of course we do need another kind of brush to do so uh, If you don't have a brush, you don't need to cut your crease. You can apply eyeshadow uh, without, without doing this step. You can wet the eyeshadow instead and Use it with the same brush that we are going, uh, that we are using, and I'm going to show you that step two. Now I'm going to clean this side of the brush that we got in the palette that we use to dock up the edges. We're going to clean it first, and then I want to go in with the shade amber with that side, and we're going to apply apply amber here. See, this is with a with a dry brush. Now, if you don't have the concealer to, as a base, you can wet this um, eyeshadow to get that metallic look. And it's not going to be perfect on the edge, but I don't want it either to be even. I don't want it to be perfect. I just want this to be very easy makeup look cut crease. Then we're going to clean this brush again and I'm going to go in uh, this shade um, golden. And this creates that na nice tr transition of these two shades. This is stunning. I really like that. So I'm going to clean that brush again and going to sting the dark shade and kind of just blend it here. Okay, so now we have this finished. I'm going to put the rest of my makeup on so I can finish the makeup look and I'll be right back. So guys, I finished my face makeup. I'm actually filming another video, uh, video today. I'm trying out this airbrush flawless foundation. You need to see this video. I think this will be off, up after this makeup look. Um, interesting. I would like you to see this video. So subscribe if you're not a subscriber, but yeah. <laughs> It's going to be a fun one. And we are back to finish the makeup look. Of course, we are using only those two, only two brushes. I, I say two because it's two sides. Um, but we are going to use this side. And we are going to go in with the Hive on the lower lash line. 
and I'm going to use this mirror. I love the mirror in this palette. I'm bringing it very low. I've been liking that kind of look lately. And I'm going to go in this deep sting, but just on this outer portion of the outer low lash line. Let's clean that side again, because we're going to go in the first flyby shade. That's the lightest shade in this palette and apply it here. Can you see how magical this shade is? And I'm go going to go on the first part of the low lash line. And we're going to uh, use it under the eyebrow. So now I'm going to put some eyelashes on and I'm going to use the, I think it's the from Nikia Joy Lash in Ash Light. I actually can't remember, can't read the name of them, but I'm going to apply these lashes on my eyes and I need the lash glue. I'm going to use Kiss Eyelash Glue that I got from my friend Valerie also in the box swap. I love that glue. You can put eyeliner on. Now I forgot the eyeliner, but if you have an eyeliner and you want an eyeliner, you can apply. So I'm going to put some mascara on and I'm going to use Ikea Cosmetics Mascara. So guys, this is the final look. I love this palette. Now, I've tried a couple of uh, Urban Decay's eyeshadow palettes and I own a couple of them and I think this is my favorite formula so far. I did swatch the cherry palette because I was into in very close to buy it, but I didn't end up buying it because I didn't like how it swatched. I didn't like the shades. They blended like into each other and I could only create maybe two makeup looks. I've been trying this palette out for a week now and I created some amazing, amazing makeup looks. Of course, this is only a gold palette and neutral palette. So you are going to get these makeup looks, but of course you can create many of them. I get so interested and very inspired of this palette. And I think the formula is better than the other palettes from Urban Decay, but that's my opinion. I know some people think uh, this palette, that the formula isn't the same, that the formula is a little bit worse than the others, but I prefer this formula. Um, from the other palette. So I do uh, like this palette a lot. I think it's amazing, very nice fall, very easy makeup look using only one brush. Look, but this is for me a very nice everyday easy makeup look for the fall. I love it. And this is the kind of makeup look I wear to my work. So for me, I work as a teacher. For me, this is me. This is my usual makeup looks. So I really, really like it. I also wear very colorful makeup looks to my work. So I'm not very basic. I do like drum drama, actually. So I really like this makeup. Uh, I really like this palette. Let me know down below if you try this and what do you think about this. I know some people compare this to the Natasha Denona gold palette. Um, there are big difference between them. A huge difference between them. My sister owns that palette and I did review it on my channel and I swatched it and made make and made some make and made and made some beautiful makeup looks, but it's not really the same and I don't think any shades are very similar. Now I don't have it in front of me so I can compare, but I don't think they're the same. I think you don't need both of them. Uh, so I'm happy to have this palette because I feel like I don't need the gold palette from Natasha Denona. So I really like this. I'm very happy with this palette. I love it. I think it's wonderful. Now, I think this is my favorite from, um, from Naked, from Urban Decay. Now my phone is ringing. I'm sorry. I need to answer. But guys, I really like this palette. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. 
Stay on my channel to see the review of this foundation that I wear on my face that I look so beautiful and pale <laughs> in. And thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.